Welcome back to the part 7. Today we need a new part to create a lid for our Nutella glass model. So let's go. First thing we, that we are gonna do is a top lane sketch and we need two cycles. One, two. Now the, <coughs> the inside cycle is gonna be uh, 82 diameter and difference between two of them is gonna be 1.75 now we can extract this by 12 and now we use this top uh, top face to make a sketch just convert the cycle and extract it by 5 straight up let's save this I'm gonna name it lead and let's see what's next sketch on this face now and let's offset 1.25 to the inside exit the sketch and let's extract cuts by 3 millimeters and we got our angle here by so uh, 20 so 20 degree angle to the inside this is how it should look like let me just find my next sketch now we are doing the revolved cut so let's do a front plane sketch add one center line that goes from the origin up and now you have to draw a few lines here and it should go something like this okay now switch to arc by pressing A on your keyboard so one again arc uh, two and again arc free and all done in one move I am making progress <laughs> now let's add dimensions of course we got from this edge to the, to the left edge we have 0 0.5 and this height is 1.75 uh, this edge is gonna be 2 the height from the top edge till this point is gonna be 9.25 and also 14.25 from here to here I hope this is right yes now we have this uh, they are not really standing good let's add center lines also from here to here and let's make both center lines vertical Okay, and now from this edge to the center line we have 0 0.25 and this edge and the arc should be tangent and same for this one and let's just add a dimension here to make the sketch fully defined I'm just gonna drag this dimensions to make it look better that's it and now we can of course proceed to the cutting this is our center line okay and we are almost done we have to do just a few things as a, for example right plane sketch just draw one line and do a split line 
the split line should go on this faces so four faces and so what we need now is a uh, is a sketch a sketch on this face let's do a center line that's going from the origin all the way somewhere around here let's rotate and attach to this point so make it coincident and let's get back to this view actually we need this edge to be converted and now we need uh, two lines so these two one two and let's let's do a trim okay from the center line to the point so we have 0 0.75 and same for this point <coughs> mm -hmm. we also need two center lines one here and one here so the center line is tangent to the arc S same for this one and now the center line can be in a perpendicular relation it means the angle is uh, 90 degrees that's what we need I'm just gonna do a line between these two make it vertical and let's add for example from this point one okay let's do a sweeped cut and now let's uh, use the selection manager we need uh, select group so select this edge this edge and this one okay so, uh, press ok and looks like I forgot something uh, let's suppress split line and cut sweep sweep cuts and edit cut revolve edit sketch we needed a fillet free for this uh, this and for that point and here we have two now we can do it let's do a unsuppressing of the split line and change of course add these two faces that we made the fillet we can exclude actually this one and unsuppress sweeped cuts and edit feature I'm gonna delete clear selection and go again to selection manager and just select all tangent edges like this and that's working quite well and the last thing we have to do is just to make a pattern for this and we are done so cycular pattern I use some of the cycular edges or the faces and just type in 120 it's a equal equal spacing I'm not really going uh, doing well with my English I'm going backward instead of forward so click OK and uh -huh, let's try geometry pattern okay that worked and we can say that this part is almost completely done and we are gonna finish it 
in, my, in our next video.